John Riley is a rock musician based in South Yorkshire. He popped into Newman School to tell us about his work. How did you get involved with the Personal Demons Project? Um, well, uh, Jack Todd Hunter has got some compromising photographs of me and um, said that he put them on the internet if I didn't yeah. get involved. <laughs> no, that's not true. Uh, no, Jack um, talked to me about the, uh, the, the basic storyline in Personal Demons, which I thought was uh, just a fantastic concept. So I think I suggested that uh, perhaps we write write a song as a kind of flagship sort of um, for the whole project. And I think if I can remember, because it seems quite a while ago, we came in and we did uh, the song "Invisible Man" with the, with uh, with the kids from the school, and uh, it went really well. And we all enjoyed it. Uh, and and from there, I I, I kind of suggested that. Uh, it could make a really good, a good musical, and and we went from there. Basically, as simple as that. Uh, uh, Jack said, he thinks it's a good idea. Um, we we saw that there's some funding that could go in place, so we can make it real, and we we got stuck in, and it's been really enjoyable. I played some very strange venues or strange gigs, more. I suppose that. What seemed the weirdest to me was um, the House of Commons. When we played a gig at the House of Commons for the um, Secretary of State's wedding. This was Acoustic Angels. And um, yeah, the audience was filled with um, cabinet members. And I expected them to be sort of quite sort of stiff and reserved. And they were totally the opposite. I mean, seriously the opposite, jumping all over the place. And uh, it was just very strange to see uh, people like Margaret Beckett um, dancing around, electrocuting everybody <laughs> with their uh, crimpling dress. And also, uh, <laughs> uh, we were singing a song and uh, I noticed that David Blunkett came on the dance floor and he had two ladies on each arm and he was dancing around. And uh, of course he's from Sheffield, so I shouted over the mic. Um, it's good to see uh, Mr Blunkett supporting the lads here from Sheffield, so he gave a sort of nod and a wave and stuff. And then I looked down at my set list, and the next song was I Can See Clearly Now. Mm -hmm. And I had a little bit of a panic, so um, I, decided <laughs> I decided to scrub that one.